Going into the 2024 season, I'm going to use a word that I don't normally like to use, and that word is if. In case you've been living in a hole for the last five or six years, the Yankees have been getting injured at an alarming rate. So that's why the word if is just not in my vocabulary normally when speaking about the Yankees. Let's say Garrett Cole is Garrett Cole in 2024. Carlos Rodon can be Carlos Rodon that the Yankees paid for to be the number two. Okay, that's a very good number one and number two, but what about the depth? Well, Marcus Stroman, good pickup if he can perform at a level that he performed it in 2023. Clark Schmidt, yeah, he had some rocky outings in 2023, but overall, I feel like he was pretty solid and has a lot of room to grow. After May, he kept his ERA in the mid-fours for the remainder of the season. He did struggle a little bit towards the end as well, but again, Clark Schmidt has some really good stuff, and I actually am excited to see what he does in 2024. Then we got Nasty Nestor. Nestor has been an incredible pickup for the Yankees, but in 2023, he only started 12 games. So if Nestor Cortez can stay healthy and play more than 12 games, that's one, two, three, four, five, right there. That is a very strong one through five, in my opinion. And what about depth? Well, the Yankees do have depth. Will Warren, who looks awesome right now, should be called up this year. We've got Clayton Beater, Chase Hampton, and that's just to name a few. Will Warren, 24 years old right now. Clayton Beater, 25 years old. Both of them pitched, I think, at least 15 games in AAA last year. Now, these are prospects, and the Yankees and prospects are kind of, kind of like Yankees and injuries. They haven't gone together very well. But there's that word again. If. Let me know what you think. Do I think the Yankees could use another arm from free agency? Yeah, possibly. You could always have another arm. You can never have too many arms. But if the Yankees want to stay with what they have, I don't have an issue with that. I think they have a very strong team and they should definitely be better than 2023 but as always let me know what you think leave a like on this video subscribe if you want today is my birthday so that would be a nice little gift i'll talk to you guys later let's go yankees